Look at that garden down there. There's some quality hay and poo. Welcome to another episode of Black Pack Homestead. Today, we will be trying pine needle tea. But first, let's check out some bunnies. Let's check out some bunnies. Maybe a little garden tour there. And uh, brew us up some pine needle tea. I like to take pens from work. I got a whole collection of them and then I return them back. Yeah, uh, I do work 40 hours a week, 45 hours a week sometimes, sometimes more, sometimes less. Uh, so homesteading for me is little bits at a time. I still have to work a job, guys, who doesn't really? Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hey, bun buns. What you doing, bun buns? Good bunnies, good bunnies. Good bun buns. Hey there, black bunny. Hey, black bunny. Hello, YouTube! <laughs> How's it going? It's gonna get dark. Yeah. What like. Well, these bunnies have uh, grown up quite a bit. Did you tell them about the cage fight? No, oh, I have not told them about cage fighting rabbits, no. You notice, used to we only had rabbits in those two cages, right? Had four in that one, three in that one. I was down here on Tuesday, I had the camera with me, but I never got to turn it on because no more than I had I opened it that there was fur flying. The naughty black bunny, the one that's over there by himself, his name is Naughty, naughty Bunny now. And uh, he was pulling the fur out of the other boy in that cage. So I thought, all right, Naughty Bunny, you're going to go. I'm going to pull a little girl out, put it in there with the other two browns, pull, put him in there. Uh-uh. They started beating up. He started beating up on a brown bunny. The boy in there started beating up on the girl. I left her in there longer just making sure it wasn't a dominance thing. Ended up, we got two rabbits in the basement right now. Yeah, we had to separate. It's our first time we've ever had to separate. They're only 10 weeks old. They're 10 weeks old this past Wednesday. Is there a reason they might be fighting in there? What do you What do you think I am? I think it's personally that it's that time of year and one of our breeders is ready to go and they're sensing it. Well, I mean, that could be it, but they're only 10 weeks old. Sure, they can smell it, but have their, has their stuff kicked in enough for them to understand what they're smelling? You know, I don't know, but we had to separate them. It was a big to-do. I didn't get to film it because it scared the crap out of me. But yeah, excitement this week, excitement. But I'm gonna go get Sterling because you gotta see this. All right, the let's check out Sterling. Bunny. I'm gonna go grab my baby bunny, Sterling. He, he, he. All right, let's check out his bunny. Look at this gorgeous bunny. Oh man, bunny. that is a good looking bunny. I hope it's a boy. Even if it's a girl, I'm thinking about keeping it. Look at the gooding. I know. That's awesome. Look at the gooding on that. Look at that. That's mm. cool. I don't think the camera will do it justice. I don't really. either, but he's gorgeous. It's so weird that the top part's dark and the bottom part is just a totally different gray. And then you brush him down. He's, brush like, him. he's like brindled. Yeah, it's cool. He's like a brindled gray. That's a new one for me. I know, we've never had one like this and I want to keep it whether it's a boy or a girl at this point because he's super sweet. I've already super bonded with him because he had such terrible nest box eye. He's looking for my hood. Well, see, that was your first mistake is you got bonded to him. Well, I know, but he's also gorgeous. I can't help that. <laughs> yeah. And he's friendly. See, look at it. Yeah. He's got that face. He's got that silver fox, silver face. fox face. Well, I don't know. It's kind of a mix. He's but he is super loving. Mm -hmm. It's a male, I'm telling you. I hope. Usually the males are the more loving of the bunnies. Yep. You and the brown ones. The brown ones are yeah, super loving. The, he's got some banana. So I think the lighter brown. color is just connected to disposition. Mm-hmm. I agree. He's gotten big, too. Isn't he? Yeah. 
He Compared feels, to the others, he's, he may not be. Well, he feels like he's filling out really good. Like he's got a, as but far as a meat rabbit feels, yeah. he feels like his rear end's gonna really go like it's supposed to, it's supposed to go Well, wrong. he does have the flatter face, for mm -hmm. sure. He's just checking everything out. Look at that guy. He's awesome. I bet he's super soft too. Oh yeah, pet him. Yep. Yep. I want your babies with this felt. It's funny with these silver fox breeds, uh, Andrew had felt the black ones, which were slickery. Yep. And then come time for him to, to touch the brown one, he realized the difference in the fur and the gooting and how that works. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh man, this one's super soft. Yeah. And Andrew's our nephew. Andrew is a family member, yes. He's our nephew. But, uh,. Yeah, I mean, he even, he could tell the difference instantly when you touch them and start yeah. petting them. Their, their fur consistency is different. All right, you ready to go get some pine needles? Let's go get some pine needles. Sterling is going gonna to go with us. Oh, God, don't do that. Yeah, Sterling is going to go All right, we'll go. He's going to pee in your pocket. I don't care. Get in there. Get in my pocket. You're putting him down head first. Well, it's awful. he has to see where he's going. You yeah, I'm sure. Stick your head out. What are you doing? You can stick your head out. Look. 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 There you go. I'm going to see him. He's going to be my pocket yeah. bunny, I'm telling you. Good luck with that when he's in another week or so. Oh, well, I'll put him in the dog sling. And, and Cookie's out. Well, I will walk Cookie home. Yeah. Look at that guy. That's a good bunny. Yes, he is. Going home, Cookie. Hey, Cookie. It's the neighbor's dog. <laughs> She's the one that got the rabbit foot after our last harvest. Okay, you can tuck your head in. He's tucking his head in. He's tucking. He was awake. I doubt he'll pee in my pocket. Too. Yep, Cabbage is taking a terrible beating, but the collards are indestructible. Yep. I'm convinced uh, of it. One of them fell down, was like broke off from Look the at all this. How much do you think we've expanded this garden, honey? Well, the garden used to start right here. And Cookie, go home. Excuse me, let me get rid of the name. Look at that. You know what that is? That's quality poo. Quality poo. You know, fertilizing with it, or you can fertilize with it, but it's a cold uh, fertilizer. You don't have to compost it. You can just let it go. Y'all want to know why they developed chemical fertilizers? Because there ain't enough poo to feed the world. Not unless you manage it right anyway. Sage is hurting. That's okay. It's that time of year. Your your cameras. Can you see me now? And, and the garden also used to stop right here. Oh, there we go. So the garden used to stop right here at this blueberry bush. So we've, and then we expanded up that way last summer. In between the apple trees. So it's this whole lighter hay area. So how many feet do you think that is? Uh, I can tell you. All you have to do is put foot to foot. Yeah. And walk this way and count them. <laughs> you been drinking? It's squishy too, huh? Yeah. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, so walk this way. Twenty. Twenty. So, so it's, fit, 18 by 20. it's 300 square foot, and I figured that your foot's probably 10 inches a little smaller than a foot. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, a I'm little less plan. than 300, 300 square foot. 300 square foot, there you go. And you can grow a lot of veggies in 300 square foot. Yeah, and it don't take all much. got cardboard underneath it from the rabbit boxes. And then of course there's spent hay, urine, and poop. Yep. Fertilizer for the garden. All right. Gonna grow tomatoes right here. <laughs> Gonna put some peas down in <laughs> the shady spots. Cause they didn't grow there. Yeah, I, 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 I sing That's a pretty dance. good. I sing a dance. You know, and axe, triple threat here. Yeah, do it to it. There you go. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to put some peas down there this year. I'm going to put my tomatoes here. Hopefully cattle panel trellis. Um, not for the tomatoes, but for the peas, which will be down there. And the beans, because we didn't do beans last year, and I want to do beans. So, yeah, so that's the garden. All right, let's go get, let's some, go get uh, some, pine some pine needles. And all this wind. Yeah, we've had terrible wind. Woo! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Um, these have like loads and loads of wind. You know, you kind of got to pop through these little seasons. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to turn the camera off while I migrate through the woods. Yep, I'm good. Huh? So, these are the woods behind our garden, beside our garden, however you want to look at it. Um, the house right there actually owns these woods. They're great neighbors. Um, and in all of our winds, these pine trees up above, these limbs have got knocked out. Just so, a few. Just a little. And I've been blessed enough to be feeding it to my rabbits. Because we didn't do a live tree. And so it's great. God knocked it out for me. Thanks, God. You made it easy. So, uh, so let's think. We were thinking, you know, what else can we do with this pond? So let's feed it to the rabbits. We've never tried pine needle tea. So it is the perfect opportunity to try that. It is cold. Yep, it is it's cold. Not, it's that the warmest it got today was 38. It is January 25th. So, you know, that's normal cold winter for us in January and February. So we thought it'd be a good thing to try. We've never done it. And uh, who knows, we may love it. I think it's gonna be like a forest in my mouth. It is. It's going to be like that. What was that beer you drank that said you tasted it? Tasted yeah, like I can't remember exactly, but it did. It tasted like a forest. It was good. A forest, okay. I kind of dig the forest Plus, beer. there's like tons and tons of vitamin C. Yes. In fact, people back in the day used it to fight off scurvy. Mm -hmm. And since like two people at Chris's workplace now have the flu, so extra boost of vitamin C, we've got some echinacea and some elderberry syrup so I think we should dose Chris up to so he doesn't get the flu and bring it to me I'd end up in the hospital we don't want to do that no oh how's your wrist it feels all right right now I got a warm rabbit on it oh that's good I um, forgot about the rabbit I fell <laughs> on um, Wednesday when it was freezing rain and I just was walking across the deck and it started getting that nice little glaze of ice on it. And my left foot, I went to walk right into the door, like the door was like a f one more step in front of me. Left foot went out. I had the camera in my hand too. No, I didn't have the camera this time. I fell with the camera too. And the basket went that way and I caught myself on my wrist. And the arthritis I have, a lot of it's in my wrists and it hurts way worse than my normal pain. So I kind of thought I might have to go to the ER. I might have broke something, which I've done before and didn't realize it. But we put some Ditajow on it, which is a Chinese medicine. Secret has, Chinese medicine. It has loads and loads of, I'm just checking on the bunny because I don't have my hand on him. Chinese um, magic. It is, I mean, it took, when I had a, clock from a central lawn when we very first started dating it took all the swelling and pain out of this arm which used to swell huge you tried a lot of different stuff I though did. didn't you I did and dit dajow saved the day dude and i'm the telling you we have right now is not really a great batch we need to order more herbs and start a new batch 
But I mean, it has like beetle palm, camp for dragons, blood. Shh! Don't tell my secret. Oh, well, that's just so they know what kind of crazy. That, <laughs> that is along those lines of those. They're kinds very of secretive herbs. about their herbs. Just like you make any tincture, except this is a poisonous tincture. You don't drink it. It's topical. Well, it's got a lot. Yeah, it's, it's top it's topical, topical and it probably contains a lot of heavy metals because it contains roots and yeah. roots and, have and a way so, of doing it. So you know, it. you do it like you do a tincture. You put it in eighty proof or higher alcohol. But it's a liniment. It's a liniment. It's a topical thing. But since I did that, I took some of leave, which I'm not supposed to take because of my kidney disease and my gut disease. Um, Because I will end up with some pain in the gut from that. But it was so bad. I was almost in tears after I did my afternoon rabbit chores. And I thought I was going to have to go to the ER. So anyway, it's feeling better. Thank you, Chinese medicine. And I'd put Tiger Balm on it earlier, but Tiger Balm was just not kicking it. It took the good old jowl jowl that I didn't know that we had any good jowl. No. So anyway, I'm getting cold. Uh, I bet this rabbit is. Yeah. Um, let's get Probably warm. not. <laughs> he's warm. That's yeah, like. he is not cold. See, he's just Believe me, there. that he's rabbit's laughing he's at like all. He's like Gaussian. He's probably like, why they put me in this hot pocket? Hot pockets. pockets. <laughs> well, that's it here at the Black Pack Homestead. We thank you for joining us, and we thank you for watching and sticking with us all the way through to the end. I know we can ramble. I can ramble sometimes. <laughs> So if you haven't subscribed, now's a great time to do that. And after you click that button, if you just give us that thumbs up, we greatly appreciate it. Those likes go a long way for creators. And after that, throw a comment down below. Ask us any questions. We are quite knowledgeable on our plants and obviously raising rabbits. And soon we'll be filming the episode to let you know what the next homestead animal is. What will it be? Dun, dun, dun. But anyway, so thanks, we bless you, and we'll see you here next time at the Black Pack Homestead. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Look at the camera. Look, what's that? Look at it.